In this video with the On King, I'll show you how I self load balance because, as explained in a previous video, I don't like the load balance add on very much. The first thing I do is I monitor how many cards are due in the future, keep an eye on that. Then I strive to keep the same number of new cards every single day. I change the settings depending on what the future looks like, and I use the reschedule and reviewer add on all the time. The first thing I do to kind of keep myself balanced is I have this new cards deck and I'll just add cards to it as I learn something. So if I had a pharmacology lecture, I'll put all my new cards that I personally made in there and I may make another deck, call it histology or whatever. And then when I'm ready to start studying them, this foundations deck is, is my semester deck that I've been using. I would go in here, for example, there's six cards here. I'd select them all and I'd change deck and put them into the foundations deck and then I'd start studying them. The second key to kind of load balancing yourself is in the statistics. I will look at what my full collection is and I'll see where I am. Now right now I'm really low because we just finished our final for Christmas break but normally I was up around 300 and I would try to add cards to get myself in between 350 and 400 every day. So if this was 350, I would know I could add roughly 70 cards right here. I would try and add more cards this day. And when I was doing that, say there was a lot of cards this day, but no cards this day, I may actually go into the settings here and change my graduating interval or change this step. I, I a lot of times will change this to 2880. Uh, if, I, if uh, tomorrow I have a ton of cards, but the day after I don't have a ton, I'll change it to that. So knowing how to use these settings is crucial and you can edit them so that you can keep yourself load balanced. I'm also going to do two more videos in just a second that I've uh, I had to wait until the perfect time to do it, but I'll show you how I change the settings and how I use the rescheduler and reviewer to keep myself balanced. The other key in the statistics, if I look at my collection over the course of a year, you can see that the blue is, is the new cards I've been learning and the green is the reviews. You can see I've added roughly the same number of new cards over the course of the semester. And that's key. If you're adding new cards every single day, like I was adding roughly 100 new cards every day, then you'll get this nice curve like this where you're not getting into these absurd peaks or anything. You can see my time is roughly like that. This was an anomaly. Something went wrong with Anki. But the rest of them you can see is roughly the same as well. So that's the trick to keeping a good balance. I've had a lot of people ask me, well, what if I want to take a day off? Or what if I want to not schedule cards when I'm on vacation or have a test? So I'm going to show you kind of how I do that. I use these timers here. It's an add-on called Countdown Timer. I'm sure there's tons. You can see Christmas is in 22 days. My finals... Uh, I actually have that set to six days. The final is in seven days. So I'm rescheduling cards for six days and I'm avoiding scheduling cards in 22 days. I'll kind of show you how I do that. So I've already brought this up here. Um, and I'm doing this card here and it's going to reschedule the 22 days, which is on Christmas. And I don't really want it to do that. Now, my first thing is you're going to have to do cards on Christmas, but you can kind of minimize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit R, reschedule. And I'm going to schedule it for 20 days because I don't want to do it on Christmas Eve either. Um, with the longer the interval, you can do, you can have a little bit of leeway for one or two days. The shorter the interval, then you would want to do like 21 days. But I think I'm, I can get away with that and be okay. So I'm going to hit okay. The next one here, that's on 20 days. So I'm going to be okay. But let's say, for example, that I was like, whoa, wait a second. I don't remember this very well. And I want to review it the day before my test. Then I would hit reschedule six, and now I'm going to reschedule it the day before my final. So that's how I do that so that I can schedule things on the days that I want and avoid the days that I don't want. And you can have multiple timers here. Uh, you are going to have to do them every day of the week, but you cannot do this if you have load balancer on. So that is why I do not use load balancer, but I really like to be able to schedule them for when I want to schedule them. Okay, I saved these few cards here just so that I could show you how I self-load balance. Uh, and I'm nearing my final, so I'm not adding a lot of cards. Uh, but if you if you look at this, so I did 245 reviews yesterday. I did a lot today because I just added about 80 cards so I could study for our test. Uh, and then in the future, I have 280, 
which is where most of the 80 cards I've already done went to. And then 229, 206, 177, 171. So you can see one, two, three days, I still have a good amount. And then at four days, it dropped off quite a bit. So when I self-load balance, now I haven't even looked at these cards, so you're going to have the pleasure of doing them with me. Uh, I made them about five hours ago, so most of them I'll probably sort of remember. So I look at this, and this is relatively simple for me, and I have a lot of cards tomorrow. So rather than reschedule it for one day, I'm going to hit reschedule and do three days. Now that one was really easy for me, so I'm going to hit easy. This one's fairly easy. I'll do three days. So that one's kind of difficult for me. So I'm going to keep that one on one day because I, it took me a second. I had to think about it. That one's easy, so I'll hit easy. Same thing here. Same thing. And now this one was a little bit harder. And I want to review it a little earlier, so I'm going to do that. And you can see I'm just kind of assigning... Any, any between one and four, depending on how comfortable I feel with it. Now, because these are cards I made, I'm sort of comfortable with them. Uh, oscillation of the eyes. So I'm just kind of like, oh, I feel pretty comfortable with it. So I'm going to put it at three days. And so I'm kind of mixing them up because I know I'm not going to add any new cards tomorrow. Now, if I knew I was going to add new cards tomorrow, that's different. But I, I'm planning ahead, basically, and looking at, at what I have. Coordination. Uh, and then notice this one was a card that we just saw a little bit earlier. I had two closed notes. And on this deck, because it's the cards I make personally, I like to shuffle them myself as opposed to check the box. Go back here. Check this box for berry related new cards. Uh, just because it's the cards that I'm making, I prefer to shuffle them myself. That's totally personal preference. So I'm going to look at that one. Now, the other one I did in one day, so I'm definitely not going to do one day on this one, so I will set this one to two days. So that's how I kind of shuffle them myself. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.